For a variety of reasons, many people prefer to live frugal lives. Maybe they were brought up to be frugal, so it comes naturally to them. They may be deliberately being economical and saving up to buy a house outright, or they may have a child set to leave for college. They might not perceive any other reason to be thrifty, so they just are. Check to discover how many frugal things you already do or what additional ways you may make your already frugal lifestyle even more frugal. Number 1. Anywhere you can, you cut costs. Although not all bills can be negotiated, do so when you can. Request a price reduction from your cable company by calling them, or even better, switch to Netflix. Give up the landline if you use your cell phone almost exclusively. Call to find out what cell phone plans are available and to see if you can negotiate a cheaper rate. Spending a few minutes on the phone with a knowledgeable agent can result in cost savings. Is there anything you can do to reduce that price with your auto insurance? Number 2. You don't mind buying things used. When you consider how much is added to the price of new items, buying used becomes simple. Learn the names of the employees at the neighborhood thrift store and let them know what you're looking for. Make creative use of old clothing by adding fabric or lace to a pair of pants or swapping out the dated buttons on a vintage cardigan for modern ones. The fact that the item is used becomes irrelevant when you consider how much money you have saved. Number 3. You prepare your meals. Eat before you leave the house rather than grabbing something quick while you are out running errands. People who are frugal also plan their meals, buy their groceries based on their plans, and then eat at home. They don't frequently give in to temptation when it comes to their finances. Keep a container of snacks in the car to satisfy your hunger until you get home rather than stopping at the drive-thru for fast food. Number 4. You shop out of necessity, not as a pastime. There is no long-term benefit to spending money on shopping, however, there is a long-term benefit to saving money. Many women shop for clothes as retail therapy, but following our advice to create a minimalist wardrobe will eliminate the desire to update your wardrobe every few months. Number 5. You take your lunch to work. You'll be surprised at how much money you save by bringing your lunch from home. Learn to decline lunch orders at work. If your motivation for eating out every day is to get away from the office, pack a homemade lunch and head to the local park. A change of scenery is completely free. Simply by following this tip, you can save hundreds of dollars per year. Number 6. You keep close track of all your bills. Aside from seeing if there are any bills you can reduce, see if you can get a discount for putting your bills on autopay. Frugal people look for every possible way to save money, and autopay is an easy way to save. Some prepaid cell phone plans, for example, provide a discount if you enroll in automatic payment. Number 7. You make a shopping list and only purchase the items on it. When you only purchase the items on your list, becoming more intentional with your money is simpler to do. Number 8. Time is money, as you are aware. Ignore the prior advice in some circumstances. Sometimes it is more economical to pay for a service than to do it yourself. People have different areas of expertise. It's time to call the plumber if that leaky faucet has turned into an uncontrollable waterfall. Number 9. When the cost per unit is lower, you purchase in bulk. It's always a good idea to check the unit price. You don't necessarily get the best value from the smallest container. Bulk purchases of some items can save you a lot of money. Paper goods are a prime example. Number 10. You don't purchase items to impress others. We spend money we don't have on things we don't need to impress people we don't like, according to a quote from Dave Ramsey. If you are guilty of doing this, consider how much money you will save once you stop. Focus on your ultimate objective of paying off your debt so that you can achieve it, the Joneses can manage their own finances. People who are frugal constantly strive to achieve their objectives. They are aware of their long-term plans. Make a five-year plan, then divide it into manageable steps. You are capable of completing this. Being frugal is a way of life, a decision to live within your means. It's nearly impossible to spend money without first considering it once you've gotten used to living on a budget. How many of these things have you already done? Are there any on this list that you intend to start putting into practice right away? Do you consider yourself to be frugal? If so, how long have you been practicing it? 
You are moving toward being frugal even if you aren't doing everything on this list.